Hey everybody, JP Firepledge here, and welcome to my guide for collecting all 16 scavenger items in Psychonauts. In this guide, we'll be navigating the grounds of Whispering Rock, collecting all the items in each of the camp zones before moving on to the next one. In the description below, you'll find a time-stamped inventory that will quickly navigate you to any specific item that you may need. Before we start scavengering, let's go over some prep. To snag all these items, you'll need to utilize Raz's natural acrobatics and several of the psychic powers you'll obtain throughout the game. You'll need to gain Marksmanship, Levitation, and the Shield Power through normal story progression, as well as Pyrokinesis, Telekinesis, and Invisibility through Psy Leveling. While you can obtain items during both the day and night, when the sun sets, several new hostile creatures will gather around the camp to make your hunting more difficult. The more items you can gather in the daytime, the easier your hunt will be. And finally, a word of caution that this game has a hard locked point of no return. If you plan to finish this hunt, once you finish the Asylum Guards level, you should have access to all the necessary powers and areas to complete the hunt. With all that said, let's jump into the walkthrough. Beginning at the cabins, locate and use the trampoline to jump up to the adjacent cabin rooftop. Walk across the tightrope until you get to the roof of Raz's cabin. Using the monkey bars, swing hop up to the climbable net, and then climb a few feet and then jump to the left towards a large tunnel. Take the long slide down the tunnel until you reach a tunnel fridge. Open up this hidden fridge and use pyrokinesis on the ice block within. Once fully thawed, grab yourself the turkey sandwich. From the camp lodge, run straight towards the parking area until you reach a group of oddly stacked rocks on your left. Follow the route on screen to make some tricky jumps up to the high rock near a tree with some wooden planks on it. From the highest rock, jump onto the wooden lookout and then use the swing to swing jump and access a second wooden lookout. On this final lookout, you'll find the Eagle Claw. From the front door of the camp lodge, take an immediate left off the walkway. Continue walking while hugging the wall of the lodge and nestled near the picnic tables will be the Gold Doubloon. Jump on the table next to the camp shop, jump onto the door frame, and then jump onto the top of the shop's awning. Finally, hop up to the rafters and then do a few precision hops until you can collect the voodoo doll. Following the main path to the beach, look for an area with three trees to your left near the end of the path. Jump onto the rock behind these trees and run up to collect the Psychonauts Comet number one. An alternate path can be found behind one of the large rocks on the beach. From the end of the main path to the beach, immediately turn left, run, jump, and swing up the hill until you reach the top of the hill near a small rock in the path. From this rock, jump towards a continuous series of swingable tree branches. Be sure during this point to line up each branch carefully to avoid falling and having to repeat this process. Once on the tree fort, you'll need to levitation bounce as high as possible while aiming towards the boathouse. Use your levitation float at the apex of your jump and aim for a small brown patch of land near the boathouse. Once you've landed, jump towards the side card and the recessed tunnel, where the diver's helmet will be awaiting you. From the GPC facility entrance, immediately walk into the creek running under the log bridge. Follow the creek's flow to the drainage grate under the GPC and use your telekinesis to grab yourself a glass eye. Beginning from the GPC to Boathouse Connection Path, jump over the fence and onto the first Raz Height rock you encounter. Using your levitation, bounce up each of the progressively higher rocks until you reach a section of vines. Grab onto these vines and pull yourself up onto the final rock. A few feet away from you should be the Pirate Scope. Continuing from the previous item, follow the path behind the GPC. While walking, you'll see a shining object and a squirrel guarding it. 
The squirrel will run into the tree with our prize if he sees us coming. Walk far enough away till the squirrel comes out of the tree and then turn on your invisibility power. While invisible, quickly run up and grab the golden acorn right from under his nose. As with the previous items, follow the path behind the GPC until you come to a slightly erupting geyser. Stand on top of the erupting water and then activate and hold your shield power until you dislodge the miner's skull from the second stream. From Janitor Crowder's trailer house, jump up the step-like rocks that are just outside of his front yard. Once you reach the top, you'll see a large tree with high branches. Using levitation, bounce your way up the tree branches to the very top, and with one final double jump, claim the dinosaur bone. In the reception area, start from the GPC connection entrance. Run around the outside of the spiral hill until you come to a high ledge at the end of the creek. Jump up the ledge towards a tree that looks like it's eating a car. Near the front of this mangled car, you'll find the cherry wood pipe. From the GPC connection entrance, jump onto the spiral hill immediately on your right. Line yourself up and then levitation bounce and glide to the small platform that contains the condor egg. Starting at the bonfire, run up the path towards Janitor Crowder's house. Once you come to the second lamp post, jump to the left over the gate and you'll find a beehive and an angry bear. You'll need to do a jumping marksman shot in order to shoot the beehive down while avoiding the bear. Once you hit the beehive, it will fall and leave behind the fertility idol. Enter Agent Sasha 9's lab from the top of the GPC. The button you used in the story should have left the door wide open. Go down two sets of stairs until you can visibly see a floating item in the distance. Jump onto the small stack of books on the edge of the stairs, and then double jump across to the outstretched platform. Run along and double jump to the platform holding onto your fossil. This last item requires that you progress the story until you can freely access the Asylum Grounds area. If you're in the campgrounds, have Linda take you to the asylum. From the beach, use the ledges and swings to hop up to the asylum grounds area, and in the center of the courtyard will be a large statue. Levitation bounce up to the top of it to claim your final reward, the gold watch. With this last item stuffed in our backpack, that wraps up my guide on getting all 16 of the scavenger hunt items in Psychonauts. The only thing that remains for you to do is to collect your final reward from Ranger Crawler in the GPC Wilderness area. If you guys like this video, feel free to like or subscribe. I've been JP Fire Pledge, you've been a wonderful audience, and I'll see you in the next video.